everyone, it's Melody Lane, and I was asked to do a certain project. The mug from Tags, Bags, Boxes, and More. So I'm going to show you this. Some people have asked me to, oh no, I got it here, to do, show this project. And I was looking, I'm like, why are there two? So this was the project. I'm going to go ahead and put both of them in. I'm going to see. See this number, it shows they are different. Coffee cup box, coffee mug box. I don't know why they're... We're going to show, put them both in. I'm going to look at these. Whoops. Chair box. Chair box. But these numbers are different. There is a difference in these two, even though the picture is exactly the same. So here it is. This one comes in one piece, and this one comes in two pieces. But they will make the exact same mug. The reason for this is the size. This one you can only make so big to fit on a 12 by 12 mat. You can only have it like 11 and a half inches. So that's as big as you can make it. This one, you can ungroup and then you, you don't want to size these without doing the sizes together because they are two images that need to stay in proportion. So I'm ungrouping, but I'm putting a box around it to size it. Let's make this smaller. So let's size this to, there, it's almost 11.5. And as you can see, you can tell by these little lines here, this is much smaller. This will make a much smaller finished mug, while this one can make a bigger one. And if you look at the size, the size from here to here is about what size it's going to be. From this score line, it's hard to see that one. If you look at this one, you can see the score line better. It is one, two, three, four, almost four inches. So it'll be about four inches high. Where this one is only like two and a half inches. So that's not very big. So that was kind of awesome of them to make it in two ways. So if we wanted to be able to put it in together in two pieces, we can. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do the two-piece one, but I'm going to change these to the same color. And if you had the Cricut 12 by 24 paper and the Cricut 12 by 24 mat, you could make it really big. Okay, I'm in the craft and I'm going to show you my first attempt at this mug. This is the size of it. I'm horribly not happy with it. Horribly not happy. It's just a mess. I should not have used this type of paper. I thought it was cool because it's shiny and mugs are shiny, but it's not very pliable. It has a white core, which you can see the inside. I did not get it done perfectly. I thought, well, I could ink the edges of this, but I, it's just a mess. I put vinyl on the outside, which it looks okay, but it's not perfect. I messed up. And it's a mess. So I just want to show you, maybe if you're doing this, maybe start with scrap paper. But I'm going to show you how to do it properly. But it's not a total loss because look, all my markers fit in here. And so I'm going to just have this sit on my desk with markers in it. It's useful. Okay, now I got my iPad. And here's my project. Make it a little bigger. Oh, that is 11 inches there. There, let me see. Okay, that'll be good. Okay, and I want these the same color, so I'm just going to click sync and move that down there. And we're good. Let's go ahead and save. And I'm going to click go to mat. Mat is in use. Let's replace. And there we go. And there's the second one. 
So I'm going to load this up, get it cut out, and I'll be right back to show you how to put it together. Okay, I just wanted to show you my cut is complete. When it's done, this will blink, and when I'm using my iPad app, it will tell me cut is complete. Hit OK. It, that will stay there until you unload the mat. You can go back to another project, or you can just go to the canvas, hitting design. It's so easy. It's really quick and easy to cut this too. And this is the coffee mug from Tags, Bags, Boxes, and More 2 cartridge. Not sure if I mentioned that. To cut this, you do have to own the cartridge or the image. You can just purchase it for 99 cents, and it might also be in a subscription. Okay, let's get right to this. Okay, I'm going to glue this right down on top of that. So I'm going to flip it this way. I'm using the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. It's really awesome and dries, dries really quick. This is scored right here, but it doesn't really need to be. And make sure you line this up at the bottom and at the top. Wasn't quite lined up at the top. Whoops! I'm gonna have glue everywhere. That's what baby wipes are for, right? even there. This glue dries clear. So now this is going to be the inside because I put the tabs on the inside. So that will be my outside. And I think I want to decorate this. Okay, I am stamping this with this stamp. I just did it. thought you guys were watching, but my camera wasn't on. I seem to have a problem with that. This is C1588 from Close to My Heart. Maybe I'll put a link to it below if you guys want it. I've never used this one, and I forgot to condition it. So to condition them, rub them on your hand. I did condition this one. You can see that one stamped better than this one. Just a little bit. And I'm going to put some of these stars. Okay, we made a big enough mess of this. I'm just trying to show you, you can stamp it or do anything you want to it before you put it together. Now let's put it together. You have to do this. This is scored for you. Just fold that down. Now to put these in place, you put one side in one corner in, and then once that's in, you kind of move it around until you get the other side in. I kind of pulled it through from the other side. So now I got it in. 
And the same thing with this. Try to get one corner in first. There, and it goes in easy. Now on the inside, we want to fold it open so it will not slide out. And we're gonna put a little glue under ETH, under ETH, underneath. This stuff dries really quickly, which is awesome. When it's totally dry, this will turn clear, but this is gonna be the inside anyway. So that's not a big deal. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue this all on here. You do not want these tabs down here, up in there, you want those down. You want to see them all. And then we're going to... I'm going to stick this inside this tab. This goes inside here, and then this one goes on the top here. And you have to make sure that gets all the way in there. Otherwise, your hole down here is going to be too big. For the circle. That's one of the problems I had the first time I did it. glue in here. Okay, looks like that will fit. Okay, we're going to put glue all along the edge. And inside the tab, on the t other end of the tab. And we're going to close this. Now the inside doesn't look that great. So that's what we got this for. I'm going to stick this inside. So it might take some practice getting this perfect. But there's the mug. And of course you can't drink coffee out of it. But Hold pencils and stuff in it, or your tools, or your markers. All these will fit inside.
Isn't that cool? And you can make these in all sizes. And you don't have to put this on. If you want just a bunch of cups to hold different things in different sizes, you could even take some and glue them together. You can make them taller, shorter, or smaller. You can do a whole lot with it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope I helped you be able to put it together. I will see you in the next video. If this helped you, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys don't follow me on my vlog channel, Melody Lane Vlogs on YouTube, uh, check that out. That's where I do shopping hauls and some announcements and some other things go on over there. I have a meet and greet coming up too and I will be mentioning that in my next vlog video. So check it out. I don't want you to miss anything. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I love you guys. And here's a shout out to a few of the people who support me on Patreon. Tracy Common, Kathleen Gosky, Jackie English, Melinda Polet, Tracy Curavan, Cindy Wesley, Denise Tuttle, Tina Foley, Bridgetta Dalberry, April Story, Anne November Moss, Veronica Cano Campos, Kathy Messenger, Sheila Leary, Grace Kearns, and Jody Wilkins. Thanks!